In this tutorial we're going to take a look at the AutoCAD 2010 user interface, often referred to as the UI. It's important for beginners to get to know the user interface because quite frankly there's quite a lot of it and it can seem quite intimidating for new users. It's also important to know what all the parts are called so that when somebody else refers to them you know exactly what they're talking about. Let's start by looking at that big red A in the top left hand corner of the screen. That's known as the application menu. Clicking on it brings up a menu with two columns. On the left we have a series of common tools, new, open, save, save as. And on the right we have a list of recent documents for ease of access. You can also use this menu to uh, access the AutoCAD options and you can even use it to exit AutoCAD as well. To the right of the application menu is the quick access toolbar and this has small icons for the common tools which we saw on the application menu. So new, open, save, save as. You'll notice that in addition though, on the quick access toolbar we have undo and redo. You can also add additional tools to the quick access toolbar using this little down arrow here. The ones tick to the ones which are currently shown, but there are other options which you can add to the quick access toolbar if you wish. The bar at the top of the application window is often referred to as the title bar and that's because we see the title of the application, in this case AutoCAD 2010, and also the name of the drawing or the title of the drawing, in this case drawing1.dwg. To the right of the drawing title is an area known as the Info Center. The Info Center can be used for various things, for example you can link to the subscription center. You can get messages from Autodesk about product updates. You can save favorite topics and you can also access the help system. But probably the most useful feature of the info center is the search feature which can give you information about any particular command or topic about AutoCAD that you might want to know. For example, if I wanted some information about polylines I need only type that phrase or word in the search box and click on the little search icon. Pretty quickly we get some feedback. We get a whole bunch of links to information, some of it from the AutoCAD help guides, user's guide, command reference and so on, and other information which is available online. This is a really useful tool and excellent for learning how the various parts of AutoCAD work. Like all Windows applications, AutoCAD has three icons in the top right hand corner of the applications window which allows us to minimize, maximize or restore and to close the application. 